Europe. It would be terrible if something went wrong, right? Greece, 1936, the 1st of January with problems. Our goal is to build a tall Greece, in fact, no, a tall Byzantium. Fix all our national problems and become the world police. Move over USA, we have a purple Greece coming right up. I'm gonna come find you. Without further ado, we've got an election coming up and the king needs to be put under house arrest. Goodbye, king. And then the first focus we are gonna go for is bring home the exiled Republicans. Uh, but we have to wait for the election to finish first. So in the meantime, let's pay off our debt. Industry, improve what little we have. I'm gonna work on the idea of tanks. What is the idea of a tank? A tractor with armor? An idea that will never catch on, but I have a dream. Convoys, guns. Off we go. Devaluing the drachma is complete and the election issue has been fixed. It's time for bring back the exiled Republicans. So the path we're going to go down is going to be the democratic path and also kind of the fascist path and also the non-aligned path. And we're a monarchy and we're bringing back the Republicans. You know, I just realized I don't understand this focus tree. Yay, let's pay back our debts to the Brits. So the process here is you have to hit this button four times, uh, spend consumer goods and spend political power. You have to do it four times for the French and the British. For the Italians, we've got something else in store, so don't worry about that. This is the only way of getting rid of this big, fat consumer goods penalty, and we have to get rid of it. We haven't got a choice. Compromise with the monarchists or request communist support. You know what we're doing. Monarchy for the win. Okay, 75% for a debt for the British. Pay off more British debt. A compromise. What will the compromise be? Stirring emotions over Anatolia could have unintended consequences. <laughs> uh. Ah, uh, so this is what you call a compromise, right? Uh, okay. Another payment to the British. Into war tanks! Completed. The tractor technology has made a breakthrough. Let us go for 1936 light tanks. Without producing a single model, I've gone on to the first prototype. A devote corporatist, extra 10% PP and factory output. The earliest you get that, the better, so for the win. Ah, I remember the Anatolian catastrophe. Now this focus is mad OP. 10% stability, amazing. Popularity of Democrats, eh. A modified political instability by 25% for war support. Wow. Yes, we'll take that one, thank you. Ah, democracy. I love democracy. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. All right, now I'm going to progress down further down this focus tree to the part where we uh, bump heads with the Turks. Fun. Let's go. And at the same time, we can do partial mobilization. It's very expensive, but it is worth. So if you don't realize, I actually have 0% supply. So we're going to have to fix that now. So disperse to and uh, research is a train. That's right. We have railway lines, and but no trains. Figure that one out. All right. So what we're about to do is going to really piss off a lot of nations, particularly the major powers who we need to be friends with. So let's climbing bed with all the major powers. We need to go utilize our strengths. Top that off as well. We need to go for sharp tongue lawyer and then bank a load of political power because we need to boost relations. If you look very closely here, boost relations with the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and the Soviet Union up to at least 80. And they will reward us with one military factory and one civilian factory that will appear out of thin air in our country. Uh, being the fact we've only got two mills, that's going to help us out massively. It's going to probably quadruple our economy, if not more. It begins. France, improve relations. United Kingdom, improve relations. Germany, improve relations. The Soviet Union, improve relations. Get in bed with all the major powers. Who have we chose to side with? All of them. We have utilized our strengths, and now we're going to open foreign subsidized factories. So we don't need to get the relations up to 80. So when they hit, like, in this case... 90. Stop improving relations because that is eating into our political power. And France, Germany, the Soviet Union is lagging behind. And we've also invented the train. Marvels of modern day technological breakthrough. We're not actually going to produce any trains though. We're just going to hit the magic train button here that gives us 15 trains. Boom. We have now a fully supplied economy. Marvelous. Trains are just a button away. And we don't need to improve relations anymore with the Soviet Union. Done. Open subsidized factories. Now we've gained a healthy increase in the amount of mills and civilian factories we've got. We actually have a proper big boy economy. See what we've done here? We've built bridges to all the major powers in the world. Isn't that amazing? Now let's burn them down, restoring our home, which pisses off Italy and Germany. Okay, we're going to import a little bit of steel because we need to get the gun production up and then we'll start producing some light. Small cannon, three-man turret, and we get lots of armor on that and bogey suspension with riveted armor and a diesel engine. One small step for Greece. That model is pretty though. I like it. The home has been restored and Germany and Italy are angry. Let us negotiate with the triple E. And that is it. The debt has finally been cleared. 1939 Greek debt eliminated forever, 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 forever. Money, please. Oh no, no, there's no money. Oh, my bad.
No problem. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Um, I'll just destroy this office. Oh, hey! Negotiations with the Triple E. The ghosts of the past will return to haunt us once again. A coalition with the Triple E. Whew. Okay. Resurrect the Mengali idea. So if you guys are not familiar with this, after World War One, the Allies all got together and decided that they wanted to carve up the rest of the Ottoman Empire. And it worked for a short while. Uh, and then the Turks rose up and grabbed all of Anatolia back. So we're reliving this idea of getting back Anatolia. Now, if you do this just right, the French and the British will join in this war against Turkey and Turkey will get attacked from all sides and get completely bulldozed. But we don't want that. We want a one-on-one -on -one Turkey. And you're probably thinking, Dave, you're a madman. How are you going to defeat Turkey on your own? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. <gasps> a convention. We're going to invite the original signatories. And because you've pissed off Italy. Oh, but Italy's the only one who attends. What? Well, regardless, the actual convention is cancelled. And it cancels. Boom. Easy. And that's good because that's like a 140-day focus, which is not good to sit on that. So we realized this dream has failed. So we're going to go for horror and fear, which declares war on Turkey immediately. Be warned. It's going to declare war on Turkey immediately. So in that case, we don't need engineers. We need armored reconnaissance. Seven armor on an infantry division. Marvelous. Boom. The ideal division. Peak performance. Convert them all to the ideal division template. We could do is 70 days to select a different focus. This puts us on free trade, but reduces foreign monopolies by 5%. Let's do that one for the meantime. It's only a 35-day focus. Good. This will give us enough time to exercise these guys to level three. Oh no, the Triple E has launched a coup. Oh no, we didn't see that one come in. So you can decide to fight them if you want to, but you get a civil war. So just take the stability here. Now we've got this guy with the, uh, the fruit bowl on his head, which also reduces the amount of time to justify and declare war. How convenient. In that case, I fancy just a little piece of Bulgaria. Just one piece, right? Tiny little piece. Since we're sitting on PP, we'll go for an infantry expert. We will go for war economy. And... Ooh, we have the option as well to befriend the communists. Takes 120 days, but gains you loads of stability. Oh, wow, I really want to do that. And we befriend the communists. Rejuvenate Athens is up next. All right, Boyo's on the front line. We just add the left side of the front line. Yep, that looks good. Go here. Oh dear, supply problems. Maybe move it over just a wee bit. No, it's just move the problem all to the left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guerrilla warfare expert. Tiny bit of recruitable pop. Less damage to garrisons. Required garrisons? Whoa. I never knew that even existed. Is that because we're befriending the communists? Oh, it is. Oh, wow. Okay. So this kind of does the same as the Prince of Terror. Reducing damage to garrisons. Wow. Why not? Okay. Justification is complete. We're going to declare war and we're going to push immediately. Air force here. Go, go, go. All right. Make a fallback line. Then push in. Completely screwing up their front lines here. And we've grabbed Sophia. Airport found. Move them over. We're in a really good spot now. I guess we could just hold ground at the time being. Supply is a nightmare. Let's fix that. Railway. Right across the border. There we go. Right, we need manpower. So extensive conscription. And we'll think about the artillery as well. All right, everyone, go aggressive now. Off you go. Grinding loads of XP here. This is perfect. I could make encirclements here by pushing through the center, but I don't care because I'm grinding lots of XP and this is perfect for my economy. No more Bulgaria. All right, finally, we've cooperated with the foreign monopolies and we are going to declare war on Turkey. You cannot leave any later because the UK and Germany will guarantee them and you will be at war with the entire world if you leave it. Trust me, don't leave it. Field Marshal is going to go with Defensive Doctrine and Org first. Okay, this is what the plan is. We're going to put the majority of my army on the north. And then we are going to make a bunch of forts here. Because there's only three we need to hold here. So one, two, three. And then we'll bring down some of our best divisions to hold the south. This should be enough to hold. We'll see. And we need to make sure this guy is Defensive Doctrine and... Oh, Unwielding Defender for the extra defense. Moment of truth. All right. Horror and fear. Here we go. Initially, the Turks are pushing in. A naval invasion Oof, we are ballsy aren't we in this case i might as well just push them back into the sea meanwhile the north the romanians are doing a number on us okay they pushed us back a little bit can we hold this definitely tricky i'm hoping they're gonna burn themselves out reviving the double-headed eagle war support pp war support and revive byzantium Oof. okay i think we have stabilized war props war bonds so producing a little bit of AA, we can just add a little bit more structure to our divisions. I think it's time to change doctrines. We need integrated support. Uh, now we're going to lose our 10 entrenchment. That could be costly. My worth the risk. 
Is it worth it? All right, military theorist and superior firepower. Boom. They're persistently trying to break this mountain here. I need to keep reinforcing every now and then. Oh, and they just declared a big attack. And we're winning them all. Ah. <laughs> Denied. Okay, more doctrines. The ones we want are these two. These are the ones that are going to give us the biggest buff to our light tanks. Change of plan. I'm going to put these extra divisions right here between the two gaps. Because if I lose this, it's all over anyway. And then we use our main attack boyo to push southwards. It seems to be working quite well. We can slowly chip away at them. Okay, combined. Pushing from the north and the westward. Is it enough firepower? Is it enough? I don't even know anymore. Finally, have we got an encirclement? Oh, they're still reinforcing. Oh, we're so close. We're touching the border of Istanbul. If we can hold this straight here, we can just hold this point with like two or three divisions. This is turning out way worse than I originally thought the never-ending battle of istanbul how are we gonna break them they just keep flooding in with more divisions the reinforcements are insane the temptation to do a force attack but i know that i'm gonna burn so much equipment ah oh, and it's collapsed we finally did it wow first try okay we can add aa on now so i'm gonna do that now a little bit extra firepower before we do the big push we can also go for our land doctrine, the first one. All right, make our break time. Go. Oh my God. Absolutely dumpstring them. And can we make an encirclement in the center? That would be the cherry on top. And we have, oh man, I'm so happy now, okay? I was bummed, but now I feel really happy. Damn, our supply lines are on fire. Look at that. Look at these railroads. They aren't they beautiful? <laughs> All right, go aggressive. Go, go, go. Borders restored. Now pushing into Romanian territory. Okay, we have to grab our very best division. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The best of the best. The cream of the crop. Defend the border against the Italians. Build up the forts. Fought me up. Serbia's give us fuel. Can join the allies. Oh, I don't want to do that though. They're pushing, but they're not breaking. Good. Front lines have stabilized against Romania. I need to make another push. And oh, it looks like we can actually make some good gains too. Okay, we need this. The backbone of the army because it gives a little bit of recruitable population and manpower's a problem at the moment. Italians invading Greece, failing miserably. Ah, history. Bucharest has been captured. Just wait for the supply lines to adjust and then the Romanians are done for. Oh yeah, the minute we grab their supply lines in the south, they've got no supply anymore. So then we just keep pushing north and north and north. So good. Romania. I'm having all of it. Oh, I'm at war with Hungary, but not Germany. Interesting. I wonder if that could cause problems later on. We shall see. All right, lads. Front line. A new front line. Off you go. Okay, let's go super upgrades on the tank now. The version four, the radio, extra ammunition, petroelectric engine, and interweaved road wheels. Max breakthrough. Uh, well, just breakthrough, actually. That's it. Hungarians bashing against our front line. It's given us practically all of our doctrines just shock and awe to go time to push oh so much cast maybe we need to stack aa hey but we're making gains though shock and awe unlocked my doctrines max firepower all right we finally made a breakthrough we've connected up three supply depots we finally made a break and in this case we could just plow through go 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 and the ai may have bugged out because there's, there's very few divisions on this front line right now where did they go i don't know yeah you're gonna have to do service by requirement there were a lot of italian divisions not anymore and i just gotta hope and pray that germany doesn't declare on me why have they not declared i really don't know oh and they've declared now i spoke too soon you can't defeat me no i know <sighs> But he can. Okay, so what's the right strategy here? Okay, we're going to go here. And we're going to fall up. So my plan here is to hold the oil fields here. But simultaneously, they're so far from a supply depot, they're going to have low supply. That is my mindset. It's been a long time coming, but we need to supply with motorized now. So this should help our army out. We have to move our fallback line back a little bit as well. Oh, man, it's all going wrong. Time for the good old Istanbul pocket trick. They never see it coming, ever. I don't know why. Maybe they'll patch this one day. Who knows? Got lots of air XP, so we'll just spend it. Boom. Time to push them out of Albania. About time. They've been sitting here way too long. Oh, just collapse. Light tank too strong. Run to the hills. Fight for your lives. Got him. All right, Turkey capitulated. I get the majority of the nation. I have to join the common turn now. And then beg the Soviets to give me the land. Aha! Greek, Turkish, unification. Revive Byzantium. The rise of the Byzantine Empire. We can continue down our path now by doing the... I'm not going to even attempt to say it. <laughs> Give stability war support, even though we've got too much of that already. Okay, let's end this. Push! 
Oh my god, absolutely demolishing them. Hungary down, aggressive go. Slovakia down. I hope this has been a great example of how these small divisions with light tanks on them are incredibly, incredibly strong. Look at the baby. Look at this. The Zeus 2A. Look at the armor on that. 63 armor on a light tank. Can you believe it? I believe it. Kurdistan, uh, Turkey, tiny slither to the east. Look at this lovely Romania, Yugoslavia, and Hungary, and Italy. If this video was your cup of tea, now this one will be your cup of coffee.